name is Christian Griesinger. I work at the Max Planck Institute for Biophysical Chemistry and I'm the director of the uh, Department of NMR-based structural biology in Göttingen, Germany. Well, I mean, we, we use uh, terribly expensive uh, instrumentation to answer, um, in principle, very basic questions. I mean, um, molecules uh, are built from atoms and we want to know where these atoms are in space and time. So this is, in principle, structure and dynamics of molecules. And we apply that to all kinds of sorts of, of, of molecules um, in order to relate then structure with function eventually. Function is uh, most of the time chemical function, but also biological function or pharmaceutical function. So if we understand that, we can um, um, understand um, how molecules interact with each other and modify their, their, their function. And sometimes, and this is one of the research lines, this um, is important for um, diseases. Uh, so um, we, we are looking at um, how molecules behave in under disease uh, conditions and uh, try from that also then to work on therapies for these um, diseases. Of course, it, it was a, a big day of excitement. This was in um, June uh, uh, last year when the instrument was delivered. Of course, it's a, a huge uh, instrument by itself. I mean, uh, um, big, big cranes and stuff like that had to uh, do, <laughs> had to do, um, had to deliver it from the, from the road level down uh, uh, about 10 meters or so to the, to the floor. And I mean, then pushing it inside and stuff like that. So it was just um, also a very physical experience to have this magnet there. Um, of course, it was also the kind of the culmination of, um, of a long process because we started um, um, lobbying for this instrument with funding agencies already in 2007, had to write um, applications in which we also then forecast what we would uh, want to do with this, uh, this instrument. And um, um, then um, about five years later, uh, we had the final euro uh, for, for paying for the, for the instrument. And then it took another seven years for the delivery. So it was a very, very long uh, process. Uh, one of the people that was involved in it was the um, state secretary of the um, Land Lower Saxony. And um, when I wrote to him, now that the instrument is delivered, he, he remembered uh, that, that he was involved um, in that and said, wow, I mean, these basic scientists really have to have a long breath because you, you start uh, thinking about something and then a longer than a decade later, uh, it is delivered. And, 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 and so in that sense, it's also, um, it re reminds you, of course, that uh, the, the life of the scientists also happens in time because such uh, projects you don't do all the time. Yeah? So it's also in that sense, it's a unique um, experience. My name is Markus Zweckstetter and I'm a professor at the German Center for Neurodegenerative Diseases the Max Planck Institute for Biophysical Chemistry in the University Medical School in Göttingen, Germany. Yeah, it was very exciting. Uh, I mean, in particular because, right, when we ordered the instrument, or actually when we got the money uh, from the funding agencies to, to order the instrument, it was not even clear if the instrument could be built. Right? So uh, it was many, many years kind of waiting whether uh, uh, the supplier would be able to produce the instrument. Uh, and then uh, when you finally get it, of course, it's very exciting and uh, to see how it works and whether it fulfills the expectations. I think the, the first really surprising thing is that um, despite the fact that this is only the third instrument worldwide, um, that the handling is really, uh, in a sense, not so different from the lower field spectrometers. So we basically, first of all, uh, are not limited in what we can do. Uh, but on top of that, uh, have now the unprecedented resolution and sensitivity. And uh, so particularly impressed we've been, I mean, we just started now three months ago, but particularly impressed we've been uh, by uh, the quality of, uh, and the resolution of uh, the solid state NMR spectra of amyloid fibrils of the Alzheimer related protein tau, which we have started to measure and which really, I mean, gave fantastic resolution. Uh, so we hope to build on this in the future. 
I mean, science is driven by developments in instrumentation. Um, so we now have uh, the best NMR spectrometer for biomolecular applications in the world. Uh, so it, it definitely will provide a competitive advantage. Uh, actually, there was a recent webinar where I presented the data. And I mean, again, this was uh, extremely good quality, actually. And yeah, uh, we tried to now uh, use that as you uh, as was uh, we tried to use that competitive advantage uh, to really push forward our research uh, both in the South Cov two area, but in particular also uh, in, in the area of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease.